welcome back to fitandflexi.com. Today I'm going to be showing you a few of my favorite cable glute exercises. So pretty much with the cables you can do so many different things I honestly probably couldn't count. First off, let's just go over a few biomechanics. So any time that we're doing a hip hinge movement, such as bending forward, this is going to activate our glutes and our hamstrings. We always do the hip thrust. I always do these on my Instagram. Um, I've also done a tutorial on fitflexi.com, which you'll see if you scroll down. Usually when I use the cables, um, it's to kind of focus on my accessory work and, um, you know, the smaller muscle groups that I can't get to in my compound lifts, such as my deadlifts and squat and whatnot. So i got to work the uh, smaller muscles around it. We're going to go ahead and start with our glute knee. So you guys have probably seen me do this on my Instagram. We're going to just grab a regular handle. I know that at most gyms they have like a strap you can wrap around your ankle. Um, I find this way easier because then I can switch from each side a little bit faster. Um, so I already have my uh, handle set up. For this specific exercise, um, it's pretty challenging, so you don't really need it to be a super heavy weight. You're going to go ahead and take your foot to the inside of the handle. We're going to come sideways. You can hold on to um, the pole, whatever um, is accessible to you. And so we're going to come down um, just at a slight angle here, and we're just going to kick out the leg. Going up fast in the concentric contract, so the concentric contraction, and then you're going to move slow in the eccentric. And so doing slow eccentrics, meaning like uh, as if you're releasing the muscle fibers, um, it's going to tear your fibers, more fibers, meaning more bridges are formed, and that tense leads to more gains and more strength. Slight bend in the knees, slight bend in the torso, and then we're just going to lift that leg up. And I don't want you to swing your whole entire body to the side. We're just using that leg here and that entire glute. I love doing those. So for the glute med specifically, um, a lot of people actually struggle with a weakness in the glute med. So um, such as if you're doing a squat and the knees start to cave in, that means weakness in the glute med. So you want to really focus on pressing those knees out. And same with the lunge, if you're lunging and the knee caves in, you really want to think about pressing the knee out, but you also want to work on that accessory work to um, strengthen your glute medius. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to show you from the back. Slight bend the knees, slight bend the torso. Um, and again, we're not using our whole entire body to lift this. You're using just one leg, one glute. So lighten the weight if you start to lose your form. So this next one is also um, kind of accessory, but um, it's pretty much a standing hip thrust. So you're going to go ahead and grab the rope extension here. Um, a barbell would work if you don't, like the little barbells, if um, you don't have a rope, but uh, if you do, go ahead and grab it. And so you're going to come over the uh, rope, whatever weight it's on, to side. I was talking about earlier, we're going to activate our glutes and cores by having that hip hinge movement. And so I'm going to step out just a little bit. I might be a little bit blurry on the camera, but that's okay. And so from here, I'm going to have a slight bend in the knees, and we're going into that hip hinge movement, holding onto my rope, keeping it close in towards my waist here. And then we're going to lift up and squeeze the glutes. Back down. Stretch the hamstring, stretch the glutes, squeeze up. And as you come up, squeeze that core as well, belly button to spine. I'm going to go from a slightly different angle here so you guys can see me. Bend over and squeeze up. Now notice how I'm not overextending. Think of yourself as a wall behind you. You want to be as straight as possible. We're not overextending. We just need to be squeezing those glutes, squeezing the core, and think of yourself in a straight line. So squeezing, reaching back and squeeze up. For this next one I'm about to show you, um, it's pretty much like a deadlift. So you want to bring the cable um, down as far as you can, pretty much to the ground. Pretty much to the ground. And so coming over, you're going to come out just a little bit. And you can also stand on a box here to elevate yourself a little bit more. Um, I prefer to do that, honestly, <laughs> because then I can get a little bit higher with the range of motion. So again, thinking about that hip hinge movement, my feet are about hip width apart here, if not a little bit farther. I'm going to reach down, hip hinge first, shoot my butt back, 
squeezing my core. Once I feel that stretch in my hamstrings, I'm gonna squeeze on up. Thinking about that tight core and tight glutes. Reaching forward, squeeze up. My gaze is down, a nice straight spine. Getting that stretch in the hamstrings, squeezing up. And so that's the type of deadlift variation um, that you can do with the cables. Again, that's also going to really help you when it comes to building that flexibility and mobility in your lower back for your traditional deadlift and pretty much any compound lift you do. For this next one, it's going to be a front squat variation. So you're going to go ahead and grab your bar. We're going to take it to the chest. So curling it up to the chest here. You can stand pretty close to the cable machine here. And my feet, again, we're in our squat stance, so a little bit past hip width. We're gonna squat down, pressing the knees out, and up, squeeze at the top. And that's a front squat variation. So if you're just now learning your front squats, that's a really great way to do that. Key is to keep the elbows lifted, chest high. You always want to think about that squat form. I'm sure we've all done donkey kicks. Um, they're definitely a popular um, favorite when it comes to the glute building. So go ahead, have your foot in your strap. If you want to do that ankle um, attachment that they have where it wraps around the whole entire ankle, go for it. Um, for me, I'm just going to stay here. So holding onto the bar, my left leg is uh, straight. The knee isn't locked, I'm keeping that quad activated. And we're going to be having that right knee bent. We're kicking back with the heel, and I want you to just squeeze the glute. Now, there's no reason to go further than this, lose my form, and start to bend my back. And I don't need to be down here. I just need to be right here. All I need is to squeeze that glute to bring that leg up. Reaching the heel back. And you're reaching it up a little higher. The key here is to keep that core nice and tight, and we're just squeezing, squeezing the glute. There's no reason to be having a back bend in there at all. Then you're just losing the focus on your glute here. Slight bend, knee is soft, reaching that heel back, lift up. For my last one that I want to show you, um, it's kind of like a single leg balance and a single leg lunge. So we're going to be doing the same thing having the cable down and we're going to have the handle on our, in one hand. So having the handle in the right hand, I'm going to start on my left foot. And so stepping back a little bit, I'm going to need a little bit of space to reach my right hand forward. Left knee is soft, slight bend. I'm going to reach that right foot back and up and squeeze up. You can have that left hand on your hip to help with the balance. to get your whole entire glute and hamstring fired up. So I have another lunge variation for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and start on the right foot. You can grab the rope um, attachment. You can also grab the barbell attachment, whichever you prefer. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the rope. Either way, it's great. So coming into your lunge stance, we're going to bend into the front knee, back knee, and squeeze up. 